Caster is an imaginary line about which the wheel will steer. It's always positive, which means that the upper steering point is always further back than the lower steering point. If it's out of whack, it's not going to affect tire wear so much, but it will affect handling. The vehicle relies heavily on that geometry. Caster has the effect of tilting your tires into turns, and it's also responsible for bringing your steering wheel back to center and keeping it there and uh, helping the vehicle track straight. Most do-it-yourselfers won't tackle caster measurements. I will show you a method that can take caster measurements fairly easily and cheaply with a $60 laser level and a bit of ingenuity. The first step is leveling the vehicle. Left to right is not as critical as front to rear. This horizontal laser beam runs straight across to the front rim as well. Initially, the rear tire was 3 8 of an inch higher than the front. I removed a bit of air and I also removed some air on the left hand side as well. Now the vehicle is perfectly level front to rear. For this method we're going to be steering the wheel 30 degrees each way off center. I'm using a simple 30 degree triangle from a geometry set and I'm just visually aligning this side to the body of the vehicle. You recall that I said that caster is responsible for tilting the wheels in the corners. If we could turn the steering wheel so much that this wheel would turn a full 90 degrees, we would be able to capture the full tilt of the caster. But we can't. Uh, we can't even turn it a full 45 degrees on most vehicles where we would capture half of the caster. So we're using 30 degrees, which we will be able to capture one third of the caster. We'll turn the wheel again the other way and we're going to capture another third. One of the advantages of this style of laser level is that we're able to rotate them a little bit. So I'm going to use that feature to rotate the level so that the laser beam intersects the one inch mark at the bottom here on the ruler. And that makes it so much easier that when I take a measurement at the top, I just subtract an inch and I am left with 13 30 seconds. We're going to jot that down. I've turned the wheel 30 degrees in the other direction. I've set the laser beam so it intersects the one inch mark here at the top. And the difference at the bottom is 11 sixteenths. We're going to jot that down. Here's our final numbers. 13 30 seconds plus 11 sixteenths is equal to 35 30 seconds, which is equal to 1.09. A good determination as to whether a method is valid or not is repeatability. I can reposition the wheels at 30 degrees with a small plastic triangle and retake those measurements and the total will always be within plus or minus 130 seconds. So what about that 1.09? Well, it's an important component in this formula. Lucky for us, our high school trigonometry is still fresh in our memories. The diameter of the rim where we took our measurements is 18.75. And you'll recall in the garage that I said that we were capturing two thirds of the caster. So by multiplying it by 1.5, we now get three thirds, the full caster. Also, luckily for us nowadays that we have these powerful scientific calculator apps at our fingertips. So let's run through that. So we're looking at the cotangent of 1.09 
divided by the diameter of the rim, 18.75, and multiply it by 1.5 to get the full caster equals. So 4.99 degrees. Let's call that 5.0 degrees. So how does that compare to the specifications for our 2011 Ford Fusion? So the right hand caster is 4.25 degrees plus or minus 1 degree. So that gives us a range of 3.25 degrees to 5.25 degrees. Our 5 degree measurement is within the tolerance. The same measurement procedure now can be carried out on the left-hand side of the vehicle. Notice that the manufacturer built in a half a degree difference between the right-hand and the left-hand um, specifications. That's called cross-caster. Um, the anticipation is that the vehicle will be driven on the right-hand side of a crowned road, and um, this will help the vehicle track under that condition. So that takes care of the caster. So help the channel out, subscribe, hit the like button. There are two more videos left in the series. We'll catch you then.